I really don't have anything funny to say. The truth is, this week has just been a pain in the neck. Literally. Hi again, friends, and welcome to www.matthewholtgren.com. I'm your acting voice and dialect coach, Matthew Holtgren, and it has been several weeks since I've released a video, and for that I'm very sorry. But I thought I would let you know about a little bit of a health issue that I've been dealing with, which is relevant to my website and to my practice, and um, telling you about it might help you. So here goes. I have a pain in the neck. It flared up uh, the day after the election. I have no idea why, but um, perhaps it's because my stress levels went through the roof. Uh, I have now a compression of the nerves that run from my cervical vertebrae, those are the bones in your neck, uh, down through my shoulder, upper chest, upper back, down through my arms, elbow, forearm, and into my fingers. My ulnar nerve, my medial nerve, and my radial nerve have all been compressed and are kind of numb and tingly. So how did I deal with it? Well, I'm still dealing with it, but uh, I have some advice for you based on what I did and didn't do. Um, and maybe you'll do better than I did. One, pay attention to your body. Know when you're stressed. Know when the news is getting to you. Know when you're doing too much physical activity, um, when you're repeatedly doing something that's stressing you out. I teach ballroom dance and hold my arms in an open frame position quite often, and that actually can be a little damaging if I'm not paying attention to how well I'm doing it. Pay attention to how much you are looking down at your phone. In these last few weeks, paying attention to the election and to the news, I have been looking down at my phone like crazy, and I think that has put some un unneeded stress on my neck and the muscles in my back. Two, go to the doctor. Know when to say uncle. I tried to take care of myself for a long time because I know a lot about my anatomy, but there comes a point when you're sort of deluding yourself if you think you can completely do everything on your own. So know when it's time to suck it up, go to the doctor, listen to what they have to say because they are the experts and they are there to take care of us. Number three, follow the doctor's orders. When I went to the doctor, uh, they told me a lot of things that I actually already knew about in theory because I understand the anatomy of this area very well. But uh, just because I thought I understood it doesn't mean that I was doing the right thing. So if you go to a physical therapist and they tell you to put weight on your head, not to pull down, and not to use your own muscles to stretch your neck, listen to them. Do the exercises the way they tell you to do them. Medicine. If they uh, prescribe medicine for you, pay attention to what they say. Know what the side effects are going to be and know what you can deal with. Number four, take care of yourself. Uh, after going to the doctor and following their orders and um, trying to do the stretches, uh, it was important for me to indulge. So indulge if you need to. Uh, eat the foods that make you feel good and sleep longer if you need to. Take the day off if it's possible for you to do. But know when to get back to work. Know when it's time to actually do the exercises, when it's time to um, treat your day like a normal day. And sometimes that will actually help in the healing process. Well, until my next video, I wish you good health, I wish you lower stress, and as always, I wish you good communication because we really need that right now.